What's up guys, it's Lewis here and welcome to episode 3 of season 2. We hope you've been enjoying the season so far and if it's your first time then thank you for tuning in and welcome. So today we're going to be speaking about Psalms and Psalming. This is a big concept in the Bible. Some of you may know about this, some of you may not. But either way, it's going to be a great topic for us to explore together. After all, there's 150 chapters in the Psalms, so it would be great to look into this. But before we do that, we thought it would be important to speak into the current issue that is going on in the world at this time, which I'm sure most of you are aware of by now. And that is the killing of George Floyd and the increase in social media activity around his death. We're all deeply saddened by this event. As followers of Jesus, we know the love, the goodness and the unity that God intended between us when he created us. We recognise that so many of you may be feeling deep pain right now, deep devastation and maybe even anger, as this is one of the many lives affected by racism and social injustice to this day. And it's not acceptable. So we wanted to take this time to just pray, pray into this issue and pray for you guys as well. Maybe some of you are feeling great pain about this. Maybe some of you are outraged and we just wanna pray right now for God to guide you through this season, no matter how hard it is. So I'm just gonna take a few moments to pray. Heavenly Father, I just wanna thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you are a God that loves us unconditionally, oh God. And Lord, we, we stand against this injustice, oh God, and we just ask, Lord, for a move of your Holy Spirit, Lord, in this issue, Lord. I pray for um, all the people affected by this, God. I pray, Lord, that your love, your peace, and your goodness would just come into their hearts, Lord. I pray that you would meet them in their midst right now, Lord, and help guide them through this season, oh God. I pray, Lord, even for this video, Lord, I pray that you would speak something to those who are watching and help them in your walk with you and show them something of your love and your goodness. I pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus and all God's people said, Amen. So, I'm now about to hand over to Tracy, who is going to take us through today's episode and introduce our special guest. Over to you, Trace. As you can see today, I am not by myself. I am joined by the wonderful, the awesome, the amazing Mark Beswick. Hey! Hey, hey, hey everyone. <laughs> Fine. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Good, thank you very much for asking me to be a part of this youth gathering. And finally, I've been recognised as being young. It's so appreciated. <laughs> yes, definitely young at heart and in body, for sure. <laughs> exactly. Well Mark, done, Trace. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those of you who, for those who might not be familiar with you and might not have been seeing you around. Where can we find you usually? Um, usually, well, um, if we were gathering at, at church on a Sunday, you would find me there um, as I am the worship pastor at CLM. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I'm not at church, I'm in the office uh, in the weekdays alongside Tracy and others uh, as one of the staff. So that's uh, what I do um, in church, outside of church. I. Um, I'm a itinerant worship leader and songwriter and arranger um, of music and songs, which Jeez. I've been doing for a while now. Um, I won't say how long, because um, <laughs> that will give my age away. Um, <laughs> for those who might not know, itinerant means like a traveling worship leader, I guess. Exactly, that, yeah. Yes. It's a big word, but it just it's means I, I go up and down the country um, and abroad, um, uh, speaking and teaching about worship and other subjects and uh, leading events uh, uh, in, in worship. Well, I'm so grateful that you could join us. And you are here today because you're going to help us understand a little bit more about psalming. And so, psalming is something that I'm uh, also learning about. So I'm learning alongside those of us who are watching today. Um, and Psalming is really based on the book of Psalms, uh, and Psalms is a book in the Bible. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about the book of Psalms? Yeah, great. I mean, the book of Psalms is in this, uh, if you were had a physical Bible, it would be the, the book in the center of your Bible. And it is a uh, 150 songs and poetry and prayers um, that uh, the, the writers 
of those of followers of God wrote down uh, their reflections, their thoughts, their po in, in poetry form and in song form, and it's a collection of those thoughts and those um, those prayers and those songs mm -hmm. that we have um, in the Bible, and, and basically uh, they, they range from a, a wide range of topics um, that are very relative to us today because they're human experiences and challenges mm -hmm. that those individuals faced and were articulating their the, the, their journey in mm -hmm. song and poetry, much as we would do today. Mm -hmm. And so that's what the Book of Psalms is. Yeah, the, the Book of Psalms is definitely a, a book that I identify with a lot. Um, as I've read it, it's such a great um, kind of place that we can go to to identify with maybe some of the emotions and the thoughts and the feelings that we have, but also to learn how to praise God, to learn how to lift his name and to exalt him. Um, it's a great book to, to um, engage with to do that. Um, so what exactly is psalming itself? That's a good question. Um, now, the scriptures encourages us to teach and admonish one another. Admonish is an old word, but it just means encourage um, one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. And since uh, we no longer have the original music to those songs, mm -hmm. in, um, uh, in, in, in the, in, that we are we talked about in the book of Psalms, we have the words, but we don't have the original music that those individuals would have used to accompany those songs. So basically, we are free to be able to set our own music to mm -hmm. the words that we find in that in that book. So what mm -hmm. Psalm is, um, if you can imagine um, a, a blind musician, a blind pianist, for example, um, um, has to become skillful at playing by ear. You know, because he can't see the 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 music, um, can't read the chord charts, and so has to listen more attentively to the notations that he plays in order to be able to play efficiently on the key piano. Um, Stevie Wonder, I'm sure most people know him, um, is an incredible musician, but he plays completely by ear because he can't read music because he can't see. So you you tune your other senses more acutely. Uh, when one is not in play. With psalming, it's tuning our spiritual ears to this, to God to get a download of the melodies that he would uh, give to us and using the scriptures, the songs, the psalms, as our lyrical base to sing those new melodies out with the words that we've, that's been written down in scripture. Mm. So that's basically, in essence, what it is. So psalming is all about kind of singing out the words that have been written, but according to the melody, melody that God has given us. Absolutely. So, so, the spirit. Exactly. So a new a sense of, a new songs are being released, new sounds are being birthed, you know, but we don't have to think about what words to say because we've been given the words already. My big question, which I think a lot of people are wondering is, uh, why should we sing? Because actually, you know, for some people, yes, they have been blessed with um, what we call beautiful voices that are lovely to listen to, but others maybe feel not so blessed uh, with the voices to sing. But why is it actually important to sing the Psalms and not just read them out? Well, that's a very good question. Um, uh, singing is, was never, uh, as a human experience, as a, uh, is ne was never really about um, so much about how skillful or capable I am to do to sing. Singing actually um, is something that everyone can do um, because it, uh, if you can speak, then you can sing. Because the same mechanics that apply to speaking is also applied to singing. It, it, the power of singing uh, has been passed down to us very early on when uh, we were kids, and we were taught. Um, essential fundamentals um, um, in life, such as our ABCs. Mm -hmm. and, and when you went to school, you were taught your ABCs by, uh, by singing, singing it. We were given the song, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Everybody has learned that and you've never forgotten it, no matter how old you are. The, the power of music uh, uh, to impact us and to, to, um, to, to stimulate memory is incredible. And also it's biblical. It is something that God and the scriptures encourages us to do, to sing um, um, to God. Um, mm -hmm. Now, Simon helps us experience the word of God 
in a deeper way uh, by co connecting us uh, with um, an express with an, an an opportunity to express our emotions, and it helps us to engage our bodies, minds, and spirits with the text. Mm -hmm. So this is where that um, the, the 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 benefits of psalming, you know, it allows you to engage in a way with your God, you know, um, uh, by you taking away the excuse, or actually, I don't know what to pray, I don't know what to sing. I don't mean I, I, um, I'm not a singer, I'm not a songwriter. Mm -hmm. You've got the words already. All you need to do now is just add a melody um, to those words and sing those out um, as your prayer, mm -hmm. as your song to God. That's so true. Like, I think music and singing is so powerful because sometimes I even think of songs that I haven't listened to for a really long time. And then you listen to it and it triggers something of like memory and yeah. uh, emotion or it, it just takes you back to a place or you identify with it in some way. So yeah. um, definitely I can see how when we use song and our voices towards God, it's even more powerful because it's like almost directed in a place of worship. But it's another way to connect with him that like you were saying, words or speech can't necessarily like put into, into expression. What we're going to do now, it'd be great for us to have a demonstration from Mark so we can actually see what this looks like practically in action. Uh, so we had Mark uh, record a little bit of that for us. Hey everyone, um, I'm here to demonstrate to you a psalm in exercise. Uh, I'm going to pick a scripture verse from the Bible, uh, from the book of Psalms. It's going to be taken from Psalm 63 verse 1. And then I'm going to uh, put on some worship music, instrumental music, um, and then I'm going to just uh, allow the Spirit to give me a new melody to sing those words written in the scriptures out as a prayer to God. Uh, this is an exercise that's very simple to do and one that's going to help you to go deeper in your time of worship. Um, you can do this on your own uh, as you practice and also you can do it in groups with others but it's a powerful way to enhance your prayer time and also to go deeper in your intimacy with the Holy Spirit. So I'm gonna jump over to the track now um, and engage in some psalming, and then I'm gonna get it over to you so you can practice wherever you are. Okay, here we go.
then you can go on like that, you know, with the rest of the verse uh, and just sing out uh, as much as you can uh, as you're led and just engage with that, those verses and just enjoy the presence of God and singing to him uh, melodies that come from your heart. Um, and it will be so powerful time for you. I'm, I'm absolutely certain of that. So God bless you. And, um, uh, go practice it now. It's your turn. Over to you. Well, we hope you found that very useful because I know I definitely found it useful. And I'm going to be putting some of those things into practice for myself. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mark. I really enjoyed having you on. And I definitely learned so much from you as a man of wisdom and one who speaks with power. But you know how we usually end off the video. So I wonder if you could wrap it up for us today. Absolutely. However your week has been, let me leave you with this. Sing unto the Lord and be some blessing, praise and lift him higher. Only chosen generation, dance and celebration. Sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord and be some blessing, praise and lift him higher. Only chosen generation, dance and celebration.